In this video I'm going to show you three quick tips to help you get started with the Apple Watch. We're going to look at how we can look at our apps on the Apple Watch in a list view. We're also going to see how we can make the text bold, which makes the Apple Watch easier to read, especially if you use readers. And then we're also going to look at how we can easily swipe to different faces, Apple Watch faces. Let's take a look at these three tips. Let's go to my Apple Watch and my watch app on the iPhone. So let's first look at how we can see a list of apps when we're looking at all the apps on the iPhone. To do that, what we need to do is we need to press in on the digital crown. So I'm going to press in on the digital crown here. And now we're looking at all of the apps on the Apple Watch. Now what I need to do is I need to do a force touch on the face. What is this? Well, what we do is we gently press down on the Apple Watch face. When we do that, I'm going to gently press down on it. You'll feel a little click, a little haptic tap. You're going to see we have two options, grid view and list view. By default, all of the apps are in grid view. So we have to open up the app by tapping on the app icon. Well, what does the icon look like? Wouldn't it be easier to view our apps as a list? Well, all we have to do now is just tap on list view. And now we can see all of the apps on the Apple Watch in a list view. I can swipe up and down or use the digital crown to go through the apps. To open up any one of them, all I have to do is just tap on it. So now when I go back to a watch face, to do that I'm going to press in on the digital crown again. Now I'm looking at my watch face. Now what I want to do is I want to go back to all of my apps. Push in on the digital crown. And now all I have to do is just swipe up and down or use the digital crown to scroll tap on the app I want to open. So that's tip number one. First thing I do is I usually tell people, put your apps into list mode. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to make the text bold. I already have the text bold here so it's easy to read. If you've just opened up or started with your Apple Watch, your text is probably not bold. So it's a little more difficult to read, especially if you use readers such as I do. Well to make your text bold, what we do is we go to the settings app. So I'm looking at my list of apps here. So now what I do is I just scroll up until I find settings. Now I tap on settings. And then what we do is we tap on brightness and text size. When we do that, you're going to see if I swipe up here, an option for bold text. All you have to do is just tap on that to make the slider green. Your Apple Watch will reboot, and then when it reboots, all of your text will be bold. It's going to be easier to read. We can also access this from our Watch app on the iPhone. To do that, what we do is we go over to My Watch, and then what we do is we scroll up until we find General. I tap on it. Now what we need to do is we need to go to Accessibility. It is not located in the same area on the Watch app on the iPhone as it is on the Apple Watch app. So now I go to Accessibility, and one of our options here is Bold Text. I tap on the slider here, and then it will make the text bold on the Apple Watch. The last thing I want to show you is how we can easily switch watch faces. Why do I want to show you this? Because it can get confusing. You can put your Apple Watch on and then all of a sudden you're looking at a different watch face than what you thought you originally had set. How did it switch to a different watch face? Well it's pretty easy to do, which means it's pretty easy to do it accidentally. So what I need to do is I need to go back over to my watch face. So I'm going to push in on the digital crown and I'm looking at my watch face. Now what I need to do to switch to a different Apple Watch face is just swipe to the left or right. That's how easy it is. So if I swipe over to the right, I'm looking at a different watch face. Swipe to the right again, we're looking at another one. I swipe back over to the left, I'm back at my one watch face. Swipe back over to the left again, I'm back at another watch face. So that's how you can easily switch between your watch faces on the Apple Watch. We'll take a closer look at this later on in the tutorial. But I just wanted to start out with it because what I've seen a lot of people do when they get an Apple Watch is they put the Apple Watch on, they set it to a watch face, and then a few days later it's on a different watch face. And they're not sure how it got there. Well, they must have accidentally just swiped to the left or right. So if you put it to a watch face and then 
It's on a different watch face. Just swipe to the left or right to get it back to your original watch face. So those are three tips to get you going on the Apple Watch. What I would recommend doing is putting all of your apps in List View. You do that by pushing in the digital crown to get to all of your apps. By default, there'll be an icon view. You gently press down on the watch face. This is a forced touch. And then you can select from a grid view or a list view. Tap on list view and all of your apps will be in a list view. You will no longer have to look at the icons. I also recommend putting your text in bold, especially if you're using readers. On the Apple Watch, you go to settings and then brightness and text size and then just tap on the slider for bold text. You can also do this on the watch app on the iPhone. Go to my watch, then go to general and then tap on accessibility. You'll see the option there. And then if you accidentally switch to a different watch face on your Apple Watch, to get back to your original watch face, all you do is just swipe to the left or right to find your original watch face. So those are three tips to get you going on the Apple Watch.